Hello guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, A Game of Thrones, as House of Valis, now led by Lord Aaron II, the Just of Harrenhal, after a tumultuous reign over Lord Aegor the Young, who definitely took the throne at a young age, Lord Aaron is here to continue his rule. Already we have lost Aemon, our son. But we have hope that uh, our wife Malaria, uh, while of Reachman, will produce us a good air. A good egg. This is such a weird <laughs> route of ownership here. Yeah, I, I, I took a look. I really, I don't know why this has happened. I don't know who, why Night Moon, like why this has happened. I specifically also married these two matrilineally, and they just became a regular marriage, so... <sighs> there's, there's... I'm, I'm not knowledgeable enough with the save edits to fix this, and I also, I kind of just don't want to jeopardize this save after all the problems we had with the uh, House Valis series and how many crashes we had late on down here. I, I, I just cannot take the risk, unfortunately. I'll find another way, maybe later on, to bring back the Targaryens. Or if you guys in the comments know a way that we can fix this problem. But if one of Night Moon or Tree take over, then we'll just treat them as new Targaryens or whatever. And eventually, I mean, the, the, the Val uh, Valerians are still in succession anyway. So it won't be the end of a Valerian rulership. Is the realm at war? Seems we're not at war. I want to become exalted, maybe. A dragon egg does sound awesome. I'm gonna set that as a goal. We still have cobblestone which we now wield, but our combat is not great. We're trained at least. We we are competent at fighting. We're just not very good at it. See, so the Stormlands are indeed at war. It is against King Carl of the Iron Throne. In King Carl's claim on the Stormlands War. And there we go. There's the customary crash. And I have no point where I left off. So I don't even know if I mentioned. Baratheons all over the place. We still have this messed up Westerlands. Which ever since the Lannisters ceased to exist basically. I think is not going to be. Well no the, Lan the Lannisters exist. Sorry the Lannisters expi split, uh, explicitly exist down here. With uh, Lords Tywin being the uh, Lord Paramount. But uh, they no longer own Castle Rock. As uh, that was is owned by Melis of uh, Valerian. After I believe it wasn't Jahira. I think it was actually Rhaenys that, that gave that land away. And the rains are very very strong right now. Can we build some basic defences? Uh, what, can we build anything in Harren Hall? We could build some stables. Uh, Courtier, Dinner, and Night Moon will take the throne. Ugh. I guess long live the Queen for now. The Night Moons are now the new. Uh... I mean, Night Moon's a cool name at least. <laughs> and her heir is Sir Courtney Night Moon. Who? How are they even related? What? We're not going to question that. If she dies, I'll. If I could kill everybody involved until we get a Valerian on the throne. Just because that's what the actual order would be. Where's this war going? It should be my far in his favour, right? No! Lord Kyle has 34%? Even though he has barely any numbers. Um, they must be they must be sieging things back down though, right? Yeah, he, he got early battles in, but I think now the the course of that war is going to turn against him. Does my wife... No, she loves me, so I don't need to sway with her. We just need... We just have a problem of not having any kids. Am I able to switch focus? Uh, let's switch to family. Get the fertility bonus up. I mean, I still have incredible... Just look at that state. State everything is just incredible right now. Not a great army, though. Let me look at the other dukes. I still have more than the other dukes in the region, though. Yeah, so I, I, I should be safe from that. Let's see, so Lord Aaron the Just. This is our first chance to determine what he believes in the curse. Now, I 
I think he doesn't believe in it. I think he believes that his brother was mad for believing in the curse, so he does not. So the Iron Islands are actually finally reunited again. Uh, this time under the Black Tides. Skites the Lame. It's <laughs> quite a name. I'll go to this one. I'll probably use this tourney as well. If I lose this tourney, I'll, I'll back off for tourneys for this uh, life. Lord Aaron doesn't seem one for it. I mean, he's he's quite craven. So he's a bit of a coward. That's what's costing him his combat skill so much. Steady. Oh dear. Did I immediately lose? Ouch. How unfortunate. Is the war already over? It seems it is. Lord Kyle must have lost. Um, or did he lose his claim? What happened to Lord? Sir Kyle Baratheon died in battle, which would have ended the war as it was uh, after his claim. Against war, uh, Monfred Warmstag ended that war. Why, why are you independent? This is uh, disgusting. Is it because you're at war? You are. You're at war against... Yeah, that's not going to last, is it? <laughs> Lord Tywood's going to easily take that out. I guess he's trying to reclaim Castle Rock, perhaps. He should have a permanent claim on it, right? Yeah, strong claim on the High Lordship of Castle Rock. So he's just going to retake his, uh, his throne. Oh, I didn't have a Master of Arms. That's silly of me. Do I want the prestige or I'll take some prestige. Battlewell prospers. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's upgrade the defenses here. It's good to have a, a true Valerian on the throne right now. So if you die, it is Dana who takes the throne. And yeah, we intentionally matrilineally married Dana. But Dana, weirdly, does not have... Uh, don't bother me with Tully's again. We don't have uh, any children from this. 26. They're both 26, but they've just not had any children. And uh, it's interesting. I hope, I hope something is produced from that, because that was a very important union. God, what a, what a life this man lived. I think the lunatic in the end. And of course, the fact that his son died at zero, and my side, that son died at one. Didn't Damon have a son that died young? No, he didn't. Oh no, it was uh, it was Asha. Asha died when she was young. Let's see. Could do with a little bit of ladies, maybe. Who? Oh, the wife wants... Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll side with you on this. Get a favour from her. Are we going to have a kid or what? What's, what's going on? She's disinherited of Darkdale. Spend a bit of gold for some piety and prosperity? Sure. I'm not sure what her... Oh, she still has a claim on Darkdale, though. But I'm not sure what her um, fertility is, but we really need children. Otherwise, Hasvelis will be back in the same situation it was before Lord Aaron had all these kids. So this is for anyone who says that the curse isn't real. Just look at that. <laughs> the realm will surely bleed. Is it the phrase who are rebelling? Is, yeah, the phrase fighting Anford here. Lord, Lord Daenora. 
Is she a dragon rider? No. Not yet, at least. Um, it's in her blood, though. And her mother was a tyrant. Well, that was self-evident. Why does she have a kill? Oh, because at the age of five, she ordered an execution. <laughs> How many kills did her mother have? Oh, my word. Including Lord Alric the Tenacious of the Vale. And now his son, uh, Robin, rules the Vale. Strange have no Arons around it, it's just the Bellamores instead. Or are there still Arons? No. It seems like the Arons are a bit died out. Yeah, this war is not going to last. such a weak house in Dragonstone. If only there was a series where somebody played Dragonstone in CK3 and got them to be pretty strong. <laughs> it's not an advertiser at all. Totally. Nah. Quentin Coheris. Oh, it was the Lord's son. Would have been his third, his third born. Well, I mean, Medgar did spend a lot of time in um, Harrenhal. Uh, both him and Vermin spent a lot of time in Drag in uh, Harrenhal. Being warded by uh, Lord Aaron the First. So perhaps the curse has rubbed off on them a little bit with, with that. Or maybe the curse is a bunch of nothing. I mean, Lord Aaron the Just has no reason to believe in it, surely. His son died merely because he was sick. Can make her in High Almoner. Oh, does I have, I have a Council position, do I? Yes, I have Spy Master open. Let's train troops again in Harrenhal, because they were a bit low. Ransom prisoner. We offer you the safe release of Malus Valerian. Why Why to me? What relation do they have with me? Um. Sure, I guess. I'll, I'll pay a tiny bit of gold and release this guy who... Well, he's in my court now, so... I lose the trait Diligent, and instead I get Taking It Easy, which will increase my health. Diligent's good though right now. I'd rather have it. Let's just take the odds. It's not like I got stressed. I didn't. Wait. And there we go. As I said. Okay. All that is restored in the Westerlands. <laughs> the Lannisters have retaken Castle Rock. My father ran the wheel, that ran the wheel roar while you were... Sitting under Castle Rock. Oh, another war? Why is the Reach at war? That's by another Kyle, by the way. Who is the son of Oris the Just. Which does mean these realms should unite, I believe, right? Yeah, when he dies, the Rage and Stormlands are going to unite. Which I think is what we discovered last uh, episode. <laughs> Uh, they are at war with King Yoren Shieldbreaker. He's invi he's invading the Night's Watch. My goodness, is he united beyond the wall completely? No way. Wow. He has. The King beyond the wall with a whopping 3,000 men. Surely Night's Watch was more than that. Yeah, they have 4,000. Still led by a Bracken. But that is quite impressive that the beyond the wall has even been united by this point. It's... Good job, I guess. Well, I don't think it will last long. Imagine they're going to get thoroughly beat up. Hey, Let's uh, do all the options that increase her health uh, if we get them. I want to make sure that she has a, a good pregnancy. With no troubles. I'll use my sway on you for now. Lord Ellis changed their tyranny by 10. 
What's going on? I'm a crack. Are they in another civil war now? The Westerlander civil war to increase council power. Interesting. Led by the reins. And who are you? Yeah, you should rest. Look at that. All of the Reach army slowly marching north to try and assist with the, uh, the war. Are they involved in the war? The, it seems like the North is involved in the war. Yeah, so they the Beyond the War has no chance here. Did the Wall start this? No, it's a defense. Why Why did Beyond the Wall do this? They're, they're just being absolutely demolished now. Oh, they, they, they're they getting some kills in though, but they're not going to win, but they got some kills in at least. Your friend Dontros has died. Uh, a small private funeral. He was my my loyal Castilian for a very long time. Uh, we shall make. Do I really not have any better options than Rhaegar? Okay, Rhaegar will be my Castilian then. He is the husband of my technical heir because my wife is still my heir. Well, my uh, sister is still my heir. So Severon has had a son. Congrats. Could raise him some bit nobility, but there's no reason to do so. A daughter. Oh my goodness me! Like, I know... We'll just pick a random name then. I know I have the curse, but this this feels a little absurd. Like, especially considering the curse is meant to be slightly lifted, since we are, um... It's now just a small pile of debris rather than a large one. It's meant to be slightly weakened. That is two... Well, three of the last four children born to my characters have been stillborn. But for this specifically, this is... Very, very disheartening. Any luck with Mark for uh, Dana? No. The, a maester has a claim. Can maesters even go to war? I didn't think they could. He's only got 100 men. Don't know what he's going to do with that. Still independent in Shoreham. Hopefully, hopefully I get a claim on him eventually. I love this song. I was about to lose a bet. Although I feel inclined to cheat, I had to be just, even though it cost me some gold. No, I, I am just. Even if it costs me. You have to accept sometimes that being just comes with a cost greater than gold. Maybe I should save up and buy a dragon pit. <laughs> Maybe that will convince the dragons to come over here. Because there's apparently no fucking dragons in the... I mean, let's check the court. Are there any dragons here? Nope. I have no clue where the dragons are at this point. Does the Kahiras have a dragon? Nope. Who knows? The dragons have already all buggered off. Be a pretty interesting timeline this one. <laughs> I can promise you that. Um we get military training ground, why not? Oh, this isn't looking great for the Westerlands right now. Oh! Because Lord Tywin, did he die in battle? He was killed in personal combat by Kevan Westerling. Wow. Yeah, Castamere's going to win this war, most likely. Goodness me. Oh, they are winning this battle, though, against Sir Kevin of the Crag. So is this Sir Kevin himself got the kill, is what I'm hearing. 
No, no, it's it's it's, it's one of his knights. One of his knights is is uh, uh, why does the crag own this up here? <laughs> what is this? Why 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 is this? Who is this? Why is this? With how calm things have been in the Reach ever since um, Medgar took over, it's it's been enjoyable to have a bit of peace considering how the last three generations have been war, war, war. Medgar's made it quite far as well, so nearly 50 now. Can we get any upgrades in a... Uh... Heron Hall? Nope. What about in Butterwell? We could get barracks, or... Which would I rather have? I think I'd rather have heavy infantry. Uh, we'll give a favour. Anyone need to be moved on my council? No, I don't need the spine or anything. I remember those two. They came here last year. Ah, oh, this is a very important one. Peasants are dying because of the cold. Jesus. And you know it's bad when E V T O P T A seasons dot one four B. That's really bad, though. Peasants, peasants dying as well. That's in Lolliston, right? Uh, no, it was in Butterwell. Oof. Ugh, with with a bad winter and no air, things are not looking great right now. I may have to change. I'll change the ambition to have a son, just because I don't think I'm gonna. What? Oh, it's because of it's Dana's son. Right, so that would make them my heir. Um, where we go? We could go with Aaron for the fiftieth time. Could name him after his father, Rhaegar. Uh, what other names do we have? Lucerys. I like Daeron. I'll go with Daeron. So Daeron is now my heir. And we will... Sign him... Can I, can I be his guardian? Yeah, but I'm not great is what I'm seeing. I still want to be his guardian. I'll be his best choice here. And when focus wise, we're gonna put him on um conscientious yeah, conscientious is the best good one. Seems like there's war in the Stormlands here with the Felwoods. At war with their overlords, it seems. Interesting. Now I just have to hope we have a true born son, isn't it? Dragon claims to have the the power the power to create and wield flame creatures. That does sound fanciful. He is amazingly dressed though, you have to give that to him. The painted dogs. That's quite a symbol. Why is the chief al uh, alchemist working with them? I would have thought that'd be fun, right? I've not done that in ages. What's prosperity? No prosperity here. Yeah, it's only um, Lodestone, which is now prospering. And even then, they also have a winter. Yeah, this building is thought is literally just because I'm bored. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Let's do something. Let's just build a fort. Who's going to stop us? Mm. 
There we go. It gets the fort level up a little bit. A decent garrison size. It's a good refuge as well if anything goes wrong. Has he been f forced to run all the way out here? Yeah, he's 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 losing this one. How's it gone beyond the wall? Do they still exist? Well, they are still they are still united. I would have thought losing a wall would have um, shattered them a little bit. You know that somewhat logical that uh, <laughs> losing a war would uh, shatter their way of life. I can plan the fences. Cause, I mean, if it's so easy to get in and out. Show me the dragons. So Queen Queen Daenera, Daenera has a dragon egg. Uh, whose dragon egg is it? It is uh, Mayraxi's dragon egg. Okay, so there there is still one of them. Mayraxes themselves is a wild dragon, but they are they are still in King's Landing. In Flea Bottom specifically. Interesting. Any dragon riders? No. So there are no living dragon riders, and Mayraxes is the only living dragon. How on earth has it got that bad? That we are in <laughs> We are, you know, barely barely after like fifty or so years what after Egg Constipation or in, maybe even less. But already we are down to one dragon. Um, how much does it cost to hold a feast? Let's hold a feast. Because our prosperity is very low. Oh, another Valus. Uh, another Valus child. Oh, no. She, she was born in a regular marriage. Yeah, they're the son, uh, the child of Aemon Scales and Sarah. We'll get enough food to keep people happy. Invite all the people around here. Our only vassal said no. Tower of Dread. So his his dynasty name is of the Tower of Dread. Where is the Tower of Dread? Here it is. So was it he used to rule this and now he for some reason has this? Now I remember giving it to a vassal, but I don't remember my vassal's surname would be of Tower of Dread. Okay, get me a bit more defense against plots. Which I, I hope I won't need. What's Lord Giles done? So Roger of the Tower of Dread has used his attendance at the Feast of Harrenhal to present a petition for justice. He claims that Lord Giles of the Tower of Dread has sullied his honour by having illicit relations with his wife behind his back. And he demands recompense for this slight. Yeah, okay, well, we'll imprison him for this. This is unacceptable. Can I revoke his title for this action? It will lower his opinion and it will take me a hundred prestige. Let him rot. I do think I'm going to revoke it. And we're going to give it to someone new. But who? But who? Hmm. Giving it to Rhaegar Rivers would be somewhat stupid, I think, right? Yeah, because it would mean that they're I'm confused, so would it mean that their son is no longer my heir, or... I'm gonna do it anyway, I think. If I mess up, uh, then oopsie, I guess. Why have I done it that way? Or can I... I can't go into her because she's a woman, yeah. And then, yeah, their son is still my heir. Okay, that's fine then.
Lord Gran of Stone Trees, you set the title of Volmark. You'll give me 10 gold to be lit free? Sure. You already lost your title. So, good luck. I mean, it's a very weak title as well, isn't it? Yeah, 16,000, which is... It's still... It's it's more than Lolliston, uh, but less than Badawell. Lolliston's just really, really weak. Not a lot I could do about that. It's been a very, very, very calm episode. I feel like I've not been talking as much as I usually do, just because there's not been a lot to talk about in this one. Anyone higher than him? No, so it'll just be Joffrey then. Let's fabricate a claim on Sutherwell. Oh, sorry, Sutherwell, sure. Where's Sutherwell coming from? Is that a word I've just made up? Or is that like some weird recess of knowledge that's come up with that one? I'm really interested to see what's going to happen when um, Oris II dies here. And he's got 30, he's 38, so it should be fine. And someone's born saw Oakland Oakskin and Lady Barbara of King's Pyre Tower, named Michael. Quite a simple name for a Game of Thrones, just Michael. I mean, it's with a Y, so I guess it makes it more fantasy. Create elixirs of healing and youth. I'm. Pr I guess I'm proud of you. Congrats. How much will these elixirs of youth cost, and will they burn my insides? Lord uh, Walder of Seaguard has convinced me. Um, how much? Of oh, it's a Jessica. It's so Lord Medgar of the Trad, and I'm like, Lord Walder's like, bro. Lord Medgar, awesome dude. He's like. Uh, He's in hiding for some reason. Oh, no, not anymore. Just for a little second, he was in hiding. <laughs> He's got fat. You've got fat. So it's, how much does Household Guard give? It costs tax income, but it gives you a hundred of both. Medgar, so on a feast, we'll go to a feast. Although training grass is what I should really want, right? Because of the morale and levy. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I should save up a little bit, I think, then. Also, you never know when I can have an event from uh, rebuilding Harren Hall. That's going to cost me, like, 5 billion gold. I'm... I was raided? Was I not paying enough attention to notice this? Or is it... Oh no, is it everyone in the Riverlands? Yeah, everyone in the Riverlands is hostile to him because he raided us. Okay. He came all the way from the Stepstones to raid the Riverlands? No, he... Oh, it's just everyone in the Iron Throne is hostile to him. Oh my god. That's overkill. I don't think he needs everyone in the Iron Throne to be against him. Ooh, the Reach is at War of Old Town? What's going on? The now man, the Lord Kyle... Finds himself uh, defending against a war of tyranny. Okay, well, he should beat Old Town, right? 12k versus 32k. That should be an absolute cakewalk. Not seen many wars which have been anything but a cakewalk so far. Look at this. Lord... Lord, Lord uh... Uh, Lord Aaron the Just is having just such a peaceful time. Everything's going perfect. The only thing that would stop the peace is if we could get a claim on bloody Shoreham. Have the I, you know? Let's host a summer fair. Now that the winter has passed, right? Yeah, we'll host a summer fair. I think you you only can do that in like the first couple of months of the year, anyways. So it should be fine. Or uh, during... What am I on about? Why am I acting as if winter lasts a couple months? Winter lasts years, that's the point. 
wood to this cupboard. Commander Joffrey wouldn't like me if I kept them out. I don't really care about you, Commander Joffrey. Of Tower of Dread. <laughs> and I'm his heir. This guy again, he's having all these kids. Well, good job, Bigina. I'm really happy for you. Truly. Ah, oh, finally. Okay, my wife is pregnant once more. We shall keep our hands crossed for her. Our fingers crossed, our toes crossed, everything crossed. New, I don't need a new cordia. That's very good that you can you can use that to get like bodyguards and stuff or powerful commanders. You know what? Let, let's see if I could get a a masterless warrior. Yes, 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 yes. You shall be a commander. You'll be a soldier. It's always good to have a, a, a good strong knight in court. Especially if my eyes are ever bloody used. Oh no. The uh, Malaria is just having every every child just has horrid omens surrounding them and then they come out ugh. her grandfather had he was disfigured and he must let's see oh no there we go it has grayscale it's on the other side he was an elusive shadow though but he had a grayscale yeah, it must be what killed him eventually yep oh what's happened the robbers at war the iron robbers have brought a great conflict i've come out my loyalty to my liege lord, so I'm a base. We're opposing the Iron Throne? What's happened? Let's have a look at this. This is. Defending against the war. The North is going for independence. And now we have a war of tyranny. So Dawn is on, is on their side, but the Trident, the Vale, the Westerlands have risen against her. And is anyone saying with the North? No, it's the North versus the Iron Throne in that war. Well. Shit. I didn't even have a chance to pick against, so I, I'm loyal to Medgar, so I, my armies must rise with him. Let's, uh, raise our army. In fact, no, we, we'll, we'll dismiss my vassals. I'll use only my own armies for this. Yeah, we, I'm so scared about the Dothraki, while being a Riverlander. So I need to do the thing where I join his war, because I've Let's do that thing where I'm not actually on his side, I think. Hang on. Who are you at war with? Yeah, you're also in the war, but I don't... I don't know. It's doing this thing where I, their armies aren't blue. I must... Uh, maybe I'm completely missing something and there is something that's, like, offered to join war. Or is it because my army's up and I can't join a war? Let's let's disband my army once more. Cause I can't declare war, obviously. Um No, I don't have an option to join with him. I'm in I am against her armies, but I then my allies aren't blue, so I'm not sure how it actually works. How many troops does she actually have? Forty three K. She could lose this. I mean with the North also rising, this could be greatly against her right now. Okay, we're, we're finally getting along with Medgar, at least. Is he alive? I think he might be alive. He is certainly not Valerian. <laughs> he did not get his father's traits. Uh, we'll go with... Edwell, Quentin, Ulmer. None of these are very... We'll go with Aegor. Aegor is at least quite, you know, at least a little bit. I know we're naming after him, but don't worry about it. 
look. Maybe, maybe part of me thinks my brother was a good man. Or has hope that he was. Let's go for have five children. I could keep eating and become fat, but it would increase my fertility in my general opinion. Or I could force myself ooh, losing martial diplomacy and stewardship for six years. I think we'll, we'll go with being fat. I know I lose. And now I've lost being fat, meaning that I'm not just anymore? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, my lords, you're just too fat to be airing the just now. You're airing the fucking fat. How tedious. This is tedious. This guy's messaged me about six billion times. Um, if, my wife want, if my wife wants me to try and lose the weight, then we'll try. See, I'm actually able to join this fight, or is everything broken? I mean, honestly, by the time I arrive, this fight's already over, isn't it? Ah, uh, and I'm just going to be drawn into a battle here. Again, I've been able to escape that. Who? Oh! So Simon of the Iron Throne now rides a dragon. Yee. Okay, maybe maybe the uh, that might be what turns to tides in this war. That is not good. Yeah. Now I'm chased. Why have I? Why am I two of one? It's my st my stewardship isn't drop. So dropping by one stewardship means I now I'm down to one. That's a bit stupid. Ugh. Oh no, they're still still got a victory in that battle. Oh, I'm twenty eight k over here as well. Seventy-eight percent war score. Oh, but the Stormlands have joined the war. They finally picked a side. Is a Reach involved? Um, yeah, the the Reach is also. That is not good. Yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I look away for one second. Oops, I'm dead. A beginner duel with. <laughs> that would be so stupid. That would be so, so, so stupid. No, no. If I had any any higher than 30, I'd give it a go. But that'd be so funny. Just dueling with Maraxes. My entire army got wiped. Yeah, dragons are a bit OP. Well. Banger. They're winning a battle here, though, but it's not going to be enough when, when they've got Dragon Riders. Ugh. The war against Lady Shah of Hayford lost. can't believe all of that was started over a woman I don't even know. What's happened here? Did they win? Wow, an independent North. King Eddard one hand. Has brought back the North's independence. The neck is co also completely independent on both sides, so it, it serves neither master here. Unless, unless they will, it might be that once this war is over, they may return. Why did you not? <sighs> Wait, what? Why are we now on the North side in the War of Northern Independence? What? I'm not paying him. I'm already losing gold. It, I 
I have no clue what's going on. We've gone from doing nothing to being confused consistently, which which feels um feels bar par for the course. Honestly, I am um, again probably have no army right, and I've inherited the tower again. Yeah, I'm down to three hundred men. Uh, let's get on training troops again then. And, uh, yeah, 300 bloody men. Let's give this away to a new vessel once more. Down to three over one, though. That's a lot worse than when it was just over two. I may have to give one of them away. Um... I'd lose piety and the septum would not be happy. Uh, I'll take a bit of tyranny. I'm no longer just anymore, right? So why not? Yeah, I don't think they win this war anymore. The dragons being involved in the war thinks I very makes me think this is going to turn in her favour. And now the veil is setting against us after a meet after just joining with us in the last war. <laughs> Sounds like a. Why does, he, why does this guy want to know me? No, I, I don't have time for this. I don't know who you are. I'm gonna leave it there <laughs> for this uh, episode. It feels like the the first couple episodes we had so much intrigue and action. And in this episode, I was hoping we would just be sitting here with maybe a little intrigue. And instead, CK3 has just bewildered me. There's no other way to say it. It's bewildered me, and I'm confused. And I have no army, once again, meaning I'm at the mercy of everything. So let's just keep our fingers crossed. And I will see you guys next time uh, for some more CK2. <laughs> Until then.